of people are in recovery mode from Hurricane Helene. We're continuing team coverage to get you the information you need. People in Spartanburg and Cherokee counties were able to access some recovery assistance today. Our Colin Riviello joins us live at USC Upstate, where workers from dozens of federal, state, and local agencies answered some questions today about how to receive aid. Colin. Yeah, Kelsey, doing this story today was a very, very humbling experience. There were people here who lost not only power, but also family members. And a veteran I spoke to today tells me he wasn't sure if his own mom in a hospital with dementia would make it through the storm. I wanted to be able to get her out in case of an evacuation. Retired Army Staff Sergeant Marvin Means served his country honorably for decades. I tried to help a lot myself, man. Hurricane Helene couldn't tear away his self-sacrificing nature when he applied for FEMA assistance. My sister and I co-residents now in order to take care of my mom, and they'll only do one person per household. So I let my sister take care of it. Hundreds of Spartanburg and Cherokee County residents like Means showed up at USC Upstate on Thursday to learn about the disaster recovery resources available as part of Team South Carolina County Days, a multi-week effort to get in-person resources into the hands of South Carolinians nationwide. But this is the first time we've really had enough power back on and people back to a normal schedule to come out and really do an event like this. So we're glad they're here today. South Carolina Lieutenant Governor Pamela Yvette even returned to where she once called home, moving boxes of food into the cars of her constituents. Owned my own business here in the upstate uh, until I became Lieutenant Governor. And so firsthand, I saw what businesses face when weather incidents like this happen. I would hate to let anybody sit at home not getting the resources they need because of pride. Um, I I understand it. I come from a very long line of, of proud Americans, but we're here for you. Means says he saw how communities came together in the face of adversity. I've seen people sharing. I've seen people helping with gas. Of course, he couldn't resist jumping in to help too. We even cooked a pot of soup on the grill. So it was really, you know, cool. We, we sit there and we ate and it was just scared me for crying, but I just like to see people and stuff like this really, really helps, you know, and it's good to see people come together and just help. Now, tomorrow, those in Greenville County can receive the same help by going to the Greenville Tech Student Success Center from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Reporting live in Spartanburg, Colin Ribiello, 7 News. Just love to see people coming together to help one another in need. Thank you, Colin, for that live report. Now, this afternoon, FEMA shared with us some more information on their Disaster Recovery Center. It's located in Greenville and will be open tomorrow at 200 Alice Avenue. They'll be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day.